Hey YouTubers, Legic Adventures here with another pickups video and this time no eBay. Yes, no eBay. Um, I actually managed to pick up some stuff locally again, so which is which always surprises me um, from where I live, down here on the bit of land below Australia. Um, now we have a, um, um, a website, I mean I don't know whether it's available um, elsewhere but it's called Gumtree and another one called um, I can't remember the, name of that, the Trading Post or something like that. Uh, well, it's not the Trading Post. Getting it wrong, but anyway, um, on one of those, <laughs> I um, saw somebody was advertising some Nintendo 64 cartridges, um, and one of them was one title that I used to own and got stolen with my other Nintendo 64 title, so I was really keen to get that one. Another one I have, and another one is a sports game, um, but it's not a bad sports game. Um, and they said $15 non-negotiable and it was like literally um, 500 metres from my house so went around there and bought them so uh, the first one which is the one that I was really after Perfect Dark so it's Rare's follow on after the James Bond um, game and um, I mean I played the um, Gold Knight of Death and then rushed out and got this one and it is quite a good game on the Nintendo 64 it's quite big um, and a very good um, game all around so we'll definitely be doing a play demo of that now they are a little a little bit of a smoke odor and they look a little dirty so I'll, I'll clean them before they're used um, now the sports title was come on camera there we go superstar soccer 98 and um, I mean soccer games aren't too bad as far as sports games are concerned um, I can actually have a little go of those and ice hockey games. I actually don't quite don't mind. So there we go. And it's another Nintendo 64 card. I just do not see these, or they go for silly prices on eBay. And there's another one. I mean, um, uh, I already have this one, um, and I wouldn't call this rare by any extreme. You see them everywhere, but people still seem to pay a bit for them on eBay. I'll keep it around as a a trade if anybody's interested. And if I don't get a trade after a little while, I'll. Um, put it on eBay or, or some other mechanism at a later date. But anyway, that one's a spare. But that's pretty damn good for fifteen dollars locally. Um, and um, so that was about a week ago. I picked those up and just had them aside. It wasn't worth doing a pickup video for. Um, and um, I was out the day uh, at a coffee, and I stopped at um, our local cash converter store. So this is one very close to our house. I haven't been there for a little while since what before Christmas. And they actually had some uh, some new PS1 games that I hadn't seen before, and these are in really good condition. The title is a little bit random. Um, oh, sorry about the reflection. So Austin Powers Pinball. Now I do like pinball games, and as you can see, the case does not have a scratch on it. I mean, maybe the game's that bad. We'll wait and see, won't we? Um, it has its registration card. the manual and the disc and disc is a black one other than a couple of finger marks it looks in pretty good condition so I said I really I don't mind pinball games at all so I'm actually looking forward to give that one a go and it's just nice to find some PS1 titles after a while um, and the next one because uh, I do like all things Jane Bond so it's another one of the things that I collect a bit of now I've made a silly mistake, they've actually got another James Bond title that I thought I had there and I didn't pick it up and then, by the way all these PS1 titles are only $4 so there's no way I can buy PS1 titles online on eBay for $4 uh, they'd be at least $5 plus postage and you wouldn't know what condition they're going to be in so the next one, it's a platinum release but it's 007 Racing seriously PS1, I don't care whether they're a platinum or a black I see so little of them, I don't really care they're just nice on me and once again the case is in great condition we have the manual and it looks in good condition and the platinum disc, platinum discs aren't as exciting as normal release and got a little bit of wear on there just to see the little non-reflective bit there but that should clean up and we'll see how we go good thing about cash converters if the disc doesn't work I can take it back um, and another one a Star Wars guy and I've never played this game so Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles it's 
some bit of a lightsaber action there. I realise I've been showing the back. Sorry about that, guys. And um, the front's not in properly. We have the manual and the disc. Let's have a look at the disc. All right, it's got the most marks out of all of them on it, but we'll see how we go. And I said there were more titles there. I didn't have my list on me because I wasn't planning on stopping in. Um, I mean, I don't have a lot of PS1 titles. I used to have a fair collection um, when I had my original PS1, but that was stolen when my Nintendo 64 was stolen. So that was the um, to do the timing of that. Whenever the GameCube was released, that Christmas that I got the GameCube, took the GameCube with me on holidays, and everything else um, console-wise that we had inside the house got stolen. And then I was looking in the glass case where they have usually have loose Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, and um, and they have a couple of items they've got in boxes of the older stuff. Uh, now they've actually got a few Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advanced and um, titles in boxes um, that I'm going to have to go back and have a look at later. Uh, but one and they've even got a couple of loose NES cards, uh, some of which I didn't have either. So I'm going to have to go back and have another look. Um, but the thing that caught my eye and was today's big up was a boxed copy of Captain Skyhawk for the NES. It actually looks like an interesting looking little game and the box is in very good condition. Maybe seven or eight I suppose would you call that. Uh, there's a little old, old sticker um, it's been taken off there, it's not damaged in the box, it's just a lot of sticker residue and around there, so I'll have to have a little go at cleaning that off. And if we open him up carefully, oops, we have the dust jacket, right, and the cartridge itself is shiny, so it's in extremely good condition. Uh, we have the manual, the manual's got a little mark up there. This is just something I really see is um, NES titles because they weren't that, um, you know, they weren't weren't around down here as much back in the day so it's fairly rare for some something like that. And that was ten dollars. So that's extremely cheap in my eye mind. So I've had a very good local pickups thing. I've also on the same um, website uh, there's a chap advertising that he's open having a regular stall at one of our, um, our marketplaces so that might convince me on um, maybe on a couple of Sundays to go and have a look at the markets again and he, um, he actually got his prices on there and they don't look too bad and he's got a few consoles and things like that so we shall have to see I uh, might have to wait a couple of weeks so I can get some more money though of course all right Thanks guys, this is the pickup section. Uh, let's do some plays of some of those titles. Let's see how many I can do. Okay, pretty obvious by the music, but this one is Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles. PS1 title using the PS2 Slim to play. And I do actually like Star Wars games in general, so um, I actually had a fair collection of Star Wars titles on the PS1 and every title uh, for the Nintendo 64. So it's actually nice getting another one of these back in the collection. Well, it's not a bad intro sequence, Star Wars wise. I mean, I know everybody trashes the Episode 1 movie, but it's still Star Warsy, so. We'll skip a bit of that because we've got a few titles to go through today. Okay, wouldn't have a clue what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, oh, selecting characters. Oh, good, we can use the analog stick. So we got, yeah you'll do, young Obi-Wan, mm. 
Okay, fight our way through and get those droids, eh? Okay, getting used to the different... So you can overhead attack, a swipe attack, a jump, and a plain bash bit, okay? And there's some other moves. Uh, you need to be facing the right direction first before you do a move, though. Oh yeah, control is a little bit used to, but it seems alright so far. I don't know whether you can block lasers. Probably should have read the instructions, but anyway. No. Oh. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, the controls a little bit. It's just the the must turn in the direction so that it doesn't flow as well as some of the other Star Wars games. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'll be definitely having a bit more of a play of that one. Right. So now we try out a James Bond game. So 007 Racing. And as I mentioned, I'm now, pay attention, I'm less I want you to take great care of this equipment. I'll just let you go through this bit. It's got some nice classic James Bond scenes here. You might be Bond. James Bond. Uh -huh. So we get to race some classic cars for the James Bond series. I mean, I'm actually quite a big James Bond fan. I have all of the movies, and I um, as one of my background collections, I've been collecting James Bond games. I have quite a few. Uh, we can play this two player, I've only got one controller plugged in. We'll go just go for missions, new game. Obviously you've got to unlock double O agent first. I've uh, got a few sub tasks to go there. So the same place where I got this, um, there was uh, the world is not enough for the PlayStation One, so I'm gonna have to go back and satellite get it. reconnaissance shows the fortress to be patrolled by armed guards. You are to get in, retrieve Miss Light, collect the Stinger missile, and get out quickly. If you must, engage any forces that attempt to intercept. Once clear, so X accelerates. Turn on the um. Rockets 007, aim carefully and fire to clear your path. You'll note, 007, that the Stinger missile is the only way to neutralize airborne attacks. Yeah. I'm going to shoot that door out, so... There are several 
agents, but there's only one of those vehicles I need in Magnum Christian order. Finally work the controls there now. The mission has been compromised. <laughs> we are sending in field agents immediately. Oops. So I didn't do very good. Uh, just jump board across into safety. Oh, I was supposed to jump over that. There we go. Excuse me. Get anyone. Doing a replay of how bad they went. Look, that actually looks quite cool. I will definitely have another go of that later. Okay, now this is Austin Powers Pinball. I do quite like pinball games. So, a few introductory logos. Skip past all those. play novice depends if you how much you're into Austin Powers or not I suppose but um, we'll see what the actual pinball game's like Okay, so you top two buttons, control those, and I'll take it. Yep, X does that. Got some top bumpers here. So that's the usual format of scrolling playfield. So you just got to get ah, wonderful. So you just got here here's to um, I've got to relaunch. Takes a little while to get used to the um, where you've got to shoot things. Missed. The is one of our... Oh. oh. Yeah, baby. Unless we get our ball back again, that's all right. No, it's very responsive. It's more me that's not being very responsive. So, I mean, this is not a bad pinball in the end. I don't know what I'm doing half the thing. Ah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Obviously got a few relaunches there. Lots of all relaunches. Oh. Well, this isn't too bad. I'll um, definitely be giving this a, a more, bit more of a go later. I actually quite like pinball games. So, all right, and here we go is Captain Skyhawk for the NES running in my top loader. Some intro sequence. Fire. Ooh. Ooh, I died. Okay, 
so we've got to watch our height obviously. instead of pound. Ooh. This is a really fast, nice game, and it's actually, I mean, I suppose it's a little bit like Zaxxon, but um, it's got the 3D aspect to it. Oops, hit the pyramid again. Oh, that's a really cool game. I'll definitely be giving that to you play. Okay, here's a quick demo of Perfect Dark. Uh, now, I don't have the memory pack that I used to have for the um, Nintendo 64. might need batteries in my um, little rumble pack in there with memory so the batteries might be flat. I'll just continue, I'm not going to save anyway. Okay, let's we'll do a quick start. So we can look around and down. I think she played this for such a long time. So that's left and right. And we can punch. Some ammo. Done. I'll work it out of selecting weapons in a minute. Apologise for the rain noise, but it's decided to pluck it down all of a sudden. So we've got a few weapons now. Ah, right. So with that weapon. And um, punch and a mag set. And then shoot. Oop. So it uses the same engine as um, James Bond, so the multiplayer could be quite fun. Don't seem to be have anywhere else in there, but maybe I've set it up incorrectly and I should have set up a multiplayer and I haven't found any computer players. Um, I mainly played through on the missions using this game. But it's a very good game for the time, you should definitely check it out. And a good, fun multiplayer game as well, so... Alright, I've got nobody else here to um, demonstrate the multiplayer at the moment, so... And, um... Uh, I'll obviously definitely be playing that again. I'll, I'll find a pack that's got a proper memory thing and I'll play through the campaign again I reckon, a bit of nostalgia. Right, on to our next title. 
is the Superstar Soccer 98. And I've changed controllers, so the other one had batteries and the batteries are gone. So this one's got an Ultra 64 cartridge, it's got a couple of dip switches in the back of it. Ooh, it takes up a lot of pages. Okay, we'll just do an open game. One controller versus CPU. We'll go random. We'll play with the conditions, looks like you've got a lot of control. Let's get into the game. Give us a bit more sound so this rain's not helping. <laughs> that was a one to toss. Again, it's underway. He passes it to the left. Okay, oh, I actually got the ball. In possession, players are finding space. Number 17. What sort of performance can we yeah. expect? Well played. Good pass. That was careless. Oh, yeah, it was. Well, this is not a bad soccer game, I reckon. Good possession. Could get into this. Ah, Where will he pass might be open at the moment. And you can tackle on stuff. He's marking his man. Yep, oh, passed it to the okay. But it does seem fairly easy on this level to, he passes it forward. to England. Oh. To get steal the ball. Good possession. It punched away. I like it. He still has the ball. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, good goal on the goalie. Oh, scored against me. Well, that game's got quite a good feeling, doesn't it? So, um, I reckon that'd be good with a couple of mates. I don't know how well I'd do against the CPU. I need to learn the, the controls a bit better. Let's take another look. 